Well, hi. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, Monday, January 9th, the day after the uh, Steelers were defeated by the Denver Broncos in the playoffs. Now, I live in Steeler Nation. I live in the Pittsburgh area. And uh, I'm not a big football fan. I used to be until they started going on strike, and I didn't, don't really follow professional sports that much. But, you know, it's nice when the Steelers win, and that's okay. But, um, of course, this year they came up against Tebow, Tim Tebow. Uh, Tim Tebow is a professing and a, a genuine, I believe, born-again Christian, very active in the work of the ministry, and he's come under a lot of fire because he's very demonstrative about his faith. Uh, he kneels and prays. And there's a lot of people who really have uh, ridiculed him, and he's come under a lot of fire. Of course, when uh, somebody scores a touchdown and does a stupid dance in the end zone, everybody kind of chuckles and laughs. I guess that's okay, but for a guy to get down and pray and be uh, serious about his faith, I guess that's, uh, that's not good for the NFL guys. The fact is that there are Christians on every team. Some people, there are two different uh, schools of thought. There's the, the, the ones who hate Christians and hate the gospel, who uh, make a mockery of somebody like a Tim Tebow. And I'll tell you what, if it was 30 years ago, before I knew the Lord, I'd probably be doing the same thing. It's different now. And there are some who think that, you know, God is on his side. Let me, let me drop a little... Uh, information on you guys out there, especially some of you Christians. God doesn't care who wins the Super Bowl. He doesn't care. Uh, Tim Tebow is a Christian, a very outspoken Christian, outspoken about his faith. That's wonderful. But you know what? There's Christians on the Steelers, too. And some of them are outspoken about their faith. In fact, every team, every football team has believers on it. Before and after every NFL game, and this is something they don't show you on TV, but before and after any, every NFL game, the believers from both sides get together and kneel and pray. Are they praying to win? Uh, I really don't think so. I don't know. I'm not them. But I think the Christians there, the real ones, are praying for God to be glorified, win or lose. I believe that's what Tim Tebow prays. I don't believe he prays to win. Of course he wants to win. These guys that play football, of course they want to win. That's why they're playing. They're competitors. But I don't believe they're praying and saying, oh God, let us win today. I believe the real Christians are praying, Lord, let, let yourself be glorified. Let your name be glorified. And I pray for Tim Tebow. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that uh, he goes all the way. I don't think they will because I don't think their team's that good. But I kind of hope that they'll go all the way. Would that be a miracle of God? I won't call it a miracle of God. I would just call it good playing. And You know, uh, on any given Sunday, any team can beat any other team. And it's a sport, it's a game, it's an entertainment. But the bottom line is, for folks like Tim Tebow and, and Christians who play professional sports of any kind, the bottom line is glorifying their Savior, Jesus Christ. So, you know, go, uh, go Denver. You know, I I'm, can't say go Steelers because they're done for this year. By the way, do you know that when Ben Roethlisberger first came up as a quarterback, uh, he got in trouble with the NFL. You know why he got in trouble with the NFL? Because he used to put somewhere on his uniform, he would put PFJ, which stood Play for Jesus. That's what he put down there. When he first came up, I thought, wow, this is great. we got a Christian quarterback. Of course, a couple years later, he's wearing a shirt with a devil on it and trying to make out with some girl in a, a bar bathroom somewhere. Well, hopefully he's got his act back together. I just hope and pray the same thing doesn't happen to Tim. I kind of don't think it's going to because he seems to be really sold out for his faith. Anyway, here's praying. Uh, may the best team win. May no one be seriously injured or hurt. And may the believers in professional sports uh, be willing to live their faith. If you're a Christian, pray for them. If you're not a Christian, then you need to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Put your trust in him. Because, after all, you know, in another few years, 
Tim Tebow and Troy Palomalu and the other Christians that play sports, they're not going to play sports anymore. They're not going to be able to. But I guarantee you one thing, this, everybody's going to do someday. We're all going to die someday. And we all need to have faith in Jesus Christ so that our sins will be forgiven and that the Father can accept us into his eternal kingdom. May God bless you. Have a great day.